It is Bournemouth to Manchester United. To Manchester United, another game where Manchester United struggled to win, struggled to control the game, inviting chances to be put on our face. It was Bournemouth, Bournemouth Beach where we felt life at the beach was hard. Life is a beach for us, bruv. It is a beach for us because Manchester United just keep dropping points. Three points out of 12, guys, for those who are watching. Three points out of 12. Manchester United just only, what, winning two games in the last seven games. It is absolutely atrocious. It's appalling. Another game where I have to say, Marcus Rashford, you make me sick. You make me sick. You make me sick. You're fucking shit. Trashford, Bruno Fernandes, you are a joke. The manager were wondering, how are you still here? How are you still in a job? Seriously, how are you still in a job? No, seriously, it's, guys, I'm tired. I'm sure you are tired, Manchester United fan. We tune in week in, week out. In my watch along, my internet cut off. My internet cut off. Would you know what that meant? I had to sort my stream out again pull it out quickly while i'm panicking and doing things quickly and at the same time i can't even see the match because because uh, of the internet my my shit depends on the internet and then you know what i missed the the goal that we equalized bruno fernandez and then when i do tune in and get everything back up i witness us concede a goal from clive i've had enough for this team uh, why can't i enjoy life why can't we Manchester United fans enjoy life? Why can't we get soft life? I want soft life. I want to be a Manchester United fan and enjoy soft life. But no, we have to go through hard life. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? We just want to be pampered. We just want soft life as a Manchester United fan. But you, just won't, you just won't give it to us. You make us suffer, you know? Suffering all the time. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Why must we suffer? You know, we we'll always we, we we just wanna be singing this life. I I won't kill myself. I won't kill myself. Oh. You know, that's what we that's what we wanna be singing today, you know, as a Manchester United fan. But no, you make us suffer, 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 suffer. Oh Manchester United. It's hard to be a Manchester United fan for those who are watching. Uh, overall four, let's go straight into this game because enough vent in the morning. You look at the first 35 minutes, Manchester United. What a horrible first half it was for Manchester United, you know. Oh, we were so poor. We were shite, you know, in that first half. Manchester United, you know, big bad Manchester United getting moved to by Bournemouth very early in that first half, you know, for Manchester United to concede that early goal because the goal was going to come. Dominic Solanke dominating Kambawala like it was nothing. Kambawala twisting him up, turning down. Kambawala slipped like he was Van der Verne today. Yeah, you, we all saw Van der Verne making a mistake against Newcastle. He slipped and Solanke ran straight on to go and finished off off scoring to his 70th Premier League goal of the season, making him the most goals scored for, for the Premier League game for Premier League season for Bournemouth, you know. Oh my God, it was absolutely horrible and horrendous to see that goal go in and Onana as well, <sighs> unable to save it. And then, just when everything went titch, titch, pear shape, I mean, for me, myself, Manchester United equalized with Bruno Fernandes. Alejandro Gonacho crossing the ball in or passing the ball to Bruno Fernandes to control it. And then rifle it in and equalise for Manchester United. But that didn't last long. It never does because this is typical Manchester United. Because nothing lasts long for us. Manchester United conceded no goal. Justin Clive had destroyed Camberwaller again. Casimiro tried to get his feet stuck in there, getting there last ditch. But Justin Clive finishing it off, rifling it in cornering it in, you know. Oh, what a wonderful goal by Clive himself, you know. Let's just see that goal again. And then... Manchester United in the second half where you thought, okay, make changes. Yes, Garnacho comes off. Dalo comes on. But Diallo, I mean, Diallo comes on. And but Diallo has zero impact in that game. Manchester United being rewarded by a penalty from Kobe Mainu taking a strike and then the ball hitting on one of their defenders' arms. I think unlucky. Couldn't do anything about it, couldn't react. But the the penalty was given. Bruno steps up and equalizes for us. 
But Bruno, you might think that Ra, he had a good game, but he's a catfish. He will show you this today's stats. Two of goals, you know, but still played rubbish, played shit. Mr. Catfish, you can, you catfish all of us. We thought we he was actually good. If Bruno showed you a picture and he showed you the, his statistics, which would be a picture, you think he's good. But when he told you to come and see him in real life, you realize what he is. He's absolutely pants. He's trash. Catfish does really well, you know. There's some people that will literally fight you for, for calling him shit. When he is shit. When, he, when, when you call him a fraud. He is a fraud. He equalizes. Big up Bruno for equalizing, getting his two goal. But I don't give a shit. Full time, just before that, Manchester United could have conceded the penalty. But the referee, you know, v, I don't know what V was thinking. Yeah, I don't know what the referee's thinking, trying to con us as well, trying to destroy us all, because VAR has never been in our favour uh, as well. The referees have never been in our favour, but VAR saved us. And it was, a, it was a foul that was outside, but it could have been Campbell Waller again, looking like a clown. So Manchester United finish off the game 2-2, full-time. Ah, another game where Manchester United are just dropping points. You know, to try and get this top five, it's a myth. Tottenham lost today and you couldn't take advantage of it, Manchester United. And my manager, as well, the way he set up this team, because we need to talk about it. We were so open. Are you happy with this, Ten Hag? Are you happy with the way he set Manchester United up and being far too open, inviting pressure, just being legs open all the time? You know what? Every guy have your turn. Shag us. Just shag us. Shag us. Have your turn. Boss, you're not on us. Because that's what we are. We are open for business 24-7. We are red light district. I know you love Holland, you love Amsterdam, you love Ajax, but Manchester United have turned into a red light district. We are a brothel. We are a brothel. I've had, I've, had, I've had enough. I've had enough of this, man. This is not red light district, Eric Ten Hag. This is not Amsterdam. This is not Amsterdam. This is Manchester United. Everyone's having their go at us. They're going, they're passing right through our midfield with our legs open. Flies undone, everything. I'm tired of this, guys. I'm so tired. I've had enough. It is what it is. Man of the match day, nobody. Donkey of the match has to go to Marcus Trashford. Eric Ten Hag as well. You absolute clown. You boiled egg, bruv. You boiled egg. That has just been your, been your match reaction from your boy, Alvaro Spice. I'm super tired, you know. You guys... Big up to you guys. Back live on Monday, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch up with the mandem. It is what it is. Guys, do let me know who your man of the match is in the comments. Your donkey of the match in the comments. And of course, what your thoughts are in the comments. Your boy, Avroin Spice, has had enough for this club. Like, I go, I will be back again next week to be hurt again, as always. Because that's what we are. We're loyal fans. We're just going to go through the pain again. I'll be here again. I'm going to be here all this time going through it, you know. This is how it is. This is the relationship it is. It's like. We are the wife or the partner that gets constantly cheated on. We always warn them that we'll leave, but we never leave. We'll be here, ready for the abuse. Oh, you cheated on me again. <laughs> You're always hurting me. You know, be angry. And the guy says, I'm sorry again. I'm so sorry. Or, you know, I didn't mean it. Okay, I'm back with you. I'm so sorry. In fact, it was my fault, you know. It's my fault that you cheated on me. It is what it is, guys. Guys, I've had enough. Subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace. Peace. Mm.